Hi, Canastota. I'm Sean Bassetta, superintendent of Canastota Central Schools. This is the weekly video update for Friday, May 13th. I'm going to start this week's update uh, by reminding everyone that the annual uh, school budget vote is scheduled for this Tuesday, uh, May 17th. Voting will be right at the Robert Street uh, complex from noon until 9 p.m. So again, uh, next Tuesday, May 17th, from noon to 9 p.m., annual budget vote. So I uh, just wanted to uh, make a couple of specific points relative to uh, this year's vote. One was there seems to have been some degree of confusion regarding what the uh, local tax levy increase is. So I just want to once again make the point and reiterate the fact that the proposed uh, increase in the local tax levy is 1.73%, which keeps us within our um, allowable limit, keeps us within our tax cap. So again, uh, the proposed budget increase is 1.73%, 1.73% on um, the local tax levy. So if there are any additional questions, we uh, always, you can contact me, you can email me, uh, give me a phone call. Uh, we always will meet with people and actually often prefer to meet with people in person uh, if they wanna go over any budget questions. We had our budget hearing this past, uh, this past Tuesday, uh, just to make sure that we give people every possible opportunity to be able to talk to us or ask questions. We've added two additional sessions. Um, so next Monday, uh, and that is May 16th, Monday, May 16th, uh, we'll be doing a 7 a.m. Uh, workshop session and a 5.30 p.m. session. Both of those uh, are scheduled for the forum room, which is uh, right at the front of the junior senior high school. So again, this Monday, May 16th at five, uh, 7 a.m., and 5.30 p.m., 7 a.m. and 5.30 p.m. So if uh, that fits your schedule before or after work, um, Canastota, members of the Canastota community, welcome to uh, meet with us. We can uh, answer your questions, do a, an overview, uh, and review any elements of the budget that uh, you might have some questions on. So uh, please join us if you still have any questions. Also, uh, sort of an annual tradition attached to the annual budget vote is uh, the art show. So uh, the art show will be running from uh, in two days. It's also uh, Monday, May 16th from 5 to 7 p.m. And then from 10.30 uh, a.m. through uh, the, the, uh, through the 9 p.m. Uh, vote uh, budget vote time on Tuesday the 17th. So we hope that while you're uh, here for uh, catching many of the events that is going on around the school, certainly uh, coming in uh, to vote, that you also can check out the art show. Congratulations to all of our students and teachers who've uh, worked hard and a uh, great time to, to check out some of the things they've been working on at the art show. Also, just want to remind people that uh, we caught a break. We had perfect weather. Uh, in last week's update, I talked about the fact that work on the track at the stadium uh, was going to be underway this week. So absolutely perfect weather this past week. Um, work is well underway and we are well on our way to meeting our goal of uh, having the track work uh, complete before the end of May. So again, we don't have an exact uh, date or um, of when the track and stadium will be reopened, but so far so good. We're pleased with the progress so far. So, um, but again, until then, until further updates, please remember that both the track and the stadium uh, are not in use um, for both school and for public purposes until further notice. Uh, and finally, you know, we talk a lot about the importance of real world, world connections, um, trying to teach our students the value of, of understanding what's happening in the world around them. You've heard me talk several times about the fact that we have a very strong and productive partnership with the International Boxing Hall of Fame. Not too many schools uh, have the opportunity to have 
a international hall of fame venue right in their literally in their backyard and uh, again a, a great reminder of that uh, the benefits of that relationship came up this past week again when um, we've had the opportunity to hear directly from um, uh, Vitaly and Vladimir Klitschko, uh, Vitaly, uh, a previous inductee uh, into the International Boxing Hall of Fame and current mayor of Kiev in Ukraine, and his brother uh, Vladimir, who is scheduled to be inducted uh, this year uh, in June um, in, in the, this year's induction. Uh, both have been corresponding regularly with our Canastota students. They've uh, multiple times reached out and talked specifically to um, Canastota and specifically to our students, expressing appreciation for our students' work and in some of uh, their attempts to, to um, help the children of Ukraine. And so we, I'd like to leave this week's update by showing you um, a clip uh, from the Klitschko brothers. Here they are both, uh, you know, uh, highly successful people, millionaires many times over, um, mayors of cities, inductees into the Boxing Hall of Fame. But they um, took the time to speak to our students about the important work that they're engaged with now. So uh, as I'd like to leave you with uh, this clip. Hope, hope you enjoy it. I uh, hope you have a great weekend and go Raiders. Hello, dear Ed. Um, you guys from Kiev. Thank you for all the messages and most importantly for all the support that um, people in Kanastata, especially the younger ones, doing for Ukraine, for our support. Uh, June is coming up soon. We don't know if we're gonna make it, but um, it's good to know that I believe three classes gonna be on those dates in June and hopefully hopefully in person we'll see how that's gonna go and once again thanks for the support we very appreciate for everything what they're doing for Ukraine uh, United States to stay close to our country's support very much and we very appreciate and never forget uh, support of uh, you people of Americans people who uh, who give the help humanitarian help, financial support, political support for our country and I hope we see each other in June. We have a chance to be in Canastot again. Give you guys. Cheers.